Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the grid world project for your computer okay, so that you can do the rest of the grid world project in Eclipse. Yep. So to do this, um, to set up the project, you first would need to have the Eclipse IDE. This shows here that I have the Eclipse IDE for Java developers up. And this is a neon release. And you will need to have an up zip as an unzip version of the grid world code that is provided in Schoology. Okay. As you can see here in my machine here, I have my grid world code that's unzipped onto a USB drive that's mounted as the K drive. So it's K grid world code. Um, depending on your circumstance, you, your code may be unzipped elsewhere. So let's start to do this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to do this is to okay, I'm gonna okay, is to to create our project here. I'm sorry, I'm gonna right click new and then create a new Java project that I'm just gonna call Grid World. Grid World. Okay. World. Okay. And that's pretty straightforward. Next, nothing, and then we'll finish that. Okay, for now. Okay, now we need to import some of the. We need to import the jar file that contains the framework for the grid world. This contains the actual grid, and some of the um, some of the actor classes, the parent actor classes, and so on and so forth. Now this is already compiled in a jar file that we will have to set up in our library, okay? So what we're gonna do here is this grid world jar file here. We're going to now make it so that our grid world code, the code that we write, can access this particular executable. Okay, we're gonna do that. You can notice here that in the unpacked version of the grid world code, there's some other, there's several folders here. There's one, the framework. This contains all of the code the framework code that actually helps to build the grid world jar. You have Java Docs, which contains a bunch of documentation. You can click on index.html for that. You can see that. Um, here, you can see here the framework contains a lot of code. Here, Java code that's used to build the framework. And you have projects, which contains the starter code for many of the exercises in the grid world project, right? And this is what we're gonna to import to our source, okay? But the first thing we wanna do is to import the grid world jar here, okay? And make it so that we can use it um, to, run the rest of our, to run the rest of the exercises. Okay, so to do this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on our grid world project folder and I'm gonna get new, and I'm just gonna create a f separate folder for this. Folder, and I'm gonna call this framework. Okay, I'm gonna finish that like that. Okay, so now I've created a new folder called framework. And now into this particular folder, I'm going to import the jar file. I'm gonna import I'm going to use file system here, next, from directory, and it's going to be my K drive in my case, right? K drive, grid world code, and actually it's just directly under the grid world code like that, right? Notice I have all of these here. I just, the only thing I want to do is pick grid world jar, and I'm finish it. Okay. And now notice that in under framework, you now have the grid word jar file, okay? Now what I need to do is to set up the property so that all of the, pro, all of the code files that I create can now access this grid world jar file, which contains the grid and contains some, some of the parent classes that we would then work with. So I'm gonna right click on grid world I'm going to go to properties here, and you see this comes up here. 
go to go to Java build path right I go to Java build path here I'm gonna click on libraries right and then libraries then I'm just gonna say add jars right so this allows me to pick jars within my current workspace so I go to grid world it's already there framework like that and grid world jar okay and now you can see that this grid world jar is now added to my build path here okay I can apply that and okay and now I've gotten that done now what I need to do is I need to start importing some of the starter Java files that are for some of the projects. And to do this, I right click on source. Right, I get the source, I right click on source, I import. Okay, I go to file system again. I go to next. Okay, from directory, I will go to K drive again, grid world code, projects, because that's where some of our projects are. I'll go to first project here. I'll go to OK, right, because all my code is there. And I just want to click on Bug Runner. Right, and I finish here. Okay, and now I've just imported that. Now to test it all out, I can open up the source file, open up bugrunner.java like that. And it's just a simple code that starts the actor world and creates a new bug, a new rock, and shows it. Okay, so I'll just run it. Run. I'll just run this code here. It boots up, and now I have it, and I can run it. And it actually runs the code. Okay. Now you will need to edit this further to make your own to perform the exercises, but that's pretty much it. Then, of course, what you can also do here, we'll stop this, right, is you can also, in the same source folder, you can import the other two exercises, file system, from directory, K drive, grid world code, projects, and we can go to the box bug here, and we import all of these there finish and we can import the last one the critters we import that file system right now you could create different packages for these but we're going to ignore that at this time I'm going to browse again okay grid world code projects critters okay and we're just going to import all of these. Finish like that. Okay. And then I, what I can do here is I can open up some of these here. Like the box book here. And I can run this one here. All right. And this gives me a slightly different look. I can run that. And it does that. Or I can open up the chameleon runner. I can run that and the and run that and these all work okay and so that's it that's all you need to do is to set up grid world to do many of the exercises that are in the grid world project thank you very much